Hello everyone, today I want to show you a new 100% reliable mob sorter for 111. I've shown a similar concept before, but this got broken by the removal of the piston translocation feature. So it's a bit bulkier now because uh, it requires more effort, but it can still sort mobs with um, yeah, pistons. And you sort them by their height difference. I would say let's start with the finished product. So put in some baby zombies, skeletons, creepers and normal zombies in this chamber here and then I'll start the mechanism and as you can see here we have the skeletons there are the zombies here we have the creepers and here are the baby zombies and then of course you could yeah, hook up a water stream or something else when you need to transport them off somewhere else um, so let's take a look how this works this is a, yeah, bit complicated to look at, so I split it up into some parts. Of course it's quite easy to sort out the baby zombies from other mobs. Just have to do something like this. Baby zombie fits in the one white gap that the other mobs don't. Then to sort the creepers from the zombies and skeletons, uh, you can do something like this. The creeper fits under the trapdoor but the other mobs don't. And here comes the tricky part to separate the skeletons from the zombies. So the skeleton is just a tiny bit taller than the zombie. The skeleton is 1.99 blocks high and the zombie 1.95. So that's just a 4 centimeter difference between them. And you couldn't do this something similar just with blocks uh, as with the trapdoor system here uh, because the difference is just too small. Um, so what I did here is to put two uh, minecarts on top of a carpet and then put a boat above. If you look at the F3 screen, the Y value um, if I'm standing on this here is 7.025. So you're standing two and a half centimeters higher than on a full block. And what would be a, normally a two high gap is now a 1.975 high gap. And that's just between the sizes of the skeletons and zombies. So if you put in some zombies in here and then some Skeletons, the zombies fit under the gap, but the skeletons don't. The only mobs that can't be separated are witches and zombies, because they have the exact same size. But this was shown by Nathan Rhyme, if you put a zombie and a witch in a minecart, then the witch is taller in the minecart, and then you could use this to sort them. Um, so you could hook up Nathan's system, to this zombie chamber here. In a normal mob farm you also get some other spawns, you get some chicken jockeys that you could sort out with a water stream. I showed this in the old video about the mob sorter. And normally you prevent spider and enderman spawning. You could sort enderman of course by the size they're a lot taller than the other mobs and you could sort spiders because they're yeah, wider than a block or with fall damage. I put the chickens in the boat, yes, just so the boat is full, so you won't lose any mobs that would be picked up by the boat otherwise. And I used those end rods and full blocks on the other side to align the boat, so it can't move anywhere. And also put blocks around the mite guards, so they can't go anywhere. And this way you can walk around on the boat and yeah, nothing happens, stays in position. Then, yeah, final note on the redstone. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time on it, I think I wired it up in 15 minutes because I'm not sure if we still have all redstone features we have at the moment in the final one, 11 release, we're still in the snapshots and Mojang is on a feature removal spree and if it would get broken I think I'll adjust the system if it's possible um, for the 111 release. And this also might change for the first time, the skeletons are taller than the zombies in the 111 snapshots, um, in all previous versions it was the other way around, with one exception. Already in 110 snapshots the skeletons were taller than the zombies, but in the final 110 version um, it was the other way around again. So the zombie was taller than the skeleton. And I'm not sure if it might change again. Um, of course you can argue, of course the skeleton has to be taller than the zombie because it looks taller, but why isn't the husk taller than the zombie then, or the witch taller? than the zombie. So their actual hitboxes, um, most cases, don't have anything to do with their visual appearance. 
And if this would stay with the skeletons, this would also affect um, yeah, contraptions and mob farms. Because previously you could have used a nice trick to put trapdoors two blocks above the spawning spaces. And this way only skeletons and creepers would spawn. And if it would stay that way in the final 111 release, you could make a very simple creeper only farm, but you wouldn't get the bones. So this also might change a major bug report that skeletons no longer spawn on the trapdoors. You can find it in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.